everybody feels bad in January and you're looking to lose weight and you want to keep track of your weight loss. So what do you go for? Well, you don't want the normal scale. Come on, this is 2021. You want something a little bit smarter. Hey everybody, my name's Aiden. This is Everyday Tech. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. And if you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe to my channel below and turn on that notification icon. So you're feeling that health kick and you want some scales to keep track of your weight loss, but you want a little bit more. You want a, maybe a bit more information. And come on, this is 2021. You don't want normal scales. You want something a little bit smart. So the one I have chosen is the Huawei AH100. Now these bad boys just here, I got from Amazon. Now I bought them actually used and it was just damaged box when they actually came they were perfectly clean they still had the plastic on the front it was they were new it was just an open box and I paid $19.99 now at the moment on Amazon you can get them for I think it's $29.99 on the Huawei store I think they're £70 so don't go there don't forget I mean I'll leave links in the description below of where you can buy them on Amazon obviously in the UK and in the US but there are some pros and cons about using these and I'll get to those in a minute. So when you get your scales, they're really simple. You have to put some batteries in, in the back, just here. Now the panel just peels off. You just put four batteries in and hey presto, you're ready to go. So pairing them couldn't be easier. What you need to do is you need to open the Huawei Health app in the top right hand corner with the three little dots, press that and then go to add. And then here it gives you a list of the different types of products. So you can have a smartwatch, smart band, scales, heart rate monitor. So select scales. And this is what I like. You are not limited to just one product. You can add the Huawei body fat scales, the Honor 2 scales, the Honor smart scales, and the P Pico, Pico S1 Pro body fat scales. So any one of those. So pick which one you like. And then I've got the Huawei body fat scales. Now, obviously mine are already connected, so they are listed, but when you do get them, all you need to do is it'll look for connection. It'll tell you on the app what you need to do. You just need to stand on the scales and it's just like pairing a Bluetooth device, a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth device. When you stand on them, it will recognize it in the app and then you just go, yeah, pair new device like you would. And hey, presto, it's done and using them couldn't be easier. You can just stand on them to get your weight and your BMI as normal. But the cool thing is with the Huawei Health app, you can actually have your readings sent directly to the app to keep track of them. So in here, my weight now, okay, don't judge me by my weight. If you can see it, I, I forgive the flicker of the screen. It's just, I can't get rid of that unless I change the settings, but that's by the by. And you can just go to measure and it will just tell you to please step onto the scales and it will take a reading. And these, what I like about it is it sends the readings to your phone and you can set yourself a goal and it will keep a track of how you are doing. What I don't like is all the features that you're supposed to get about it measures your bone density, your visceral fat. I don't know how it does that because I can't find anything on the app in the UK that allows me to get those features. I don't know if it's just something I'm not doing. I don't know. I'll look into it. You know, I'm still relatively new with these. So to be honest, all I need from these scales is the weight and the BMI. I'm not actually not looking for my bone density. It's not something that really concerns me. But the BMI and my weight are the two things that I need to keep a track of. But one thing I don't like, for some reason, when I go to my health app, and I select me and I go to my profile for some reason in my height it's got me as 14 foot 7 inches now if I change that to me which is 5 foot 9 brilliant I've changed it there's my weight there's my date of birth I'm male and that's fantastic so but I go back on the profile and I'm 14 foot 7 again why I'm not 14 foot 7 if I was 14 foot 7 I'd be my ideal weight I suppose but the downside of it is it gives you inaccurate readings on the health app. For example, 
when you do weigh yourself and you go on here as you can see well you may not be able to see on here but on the app it says my BMI is 6.1 and it's low I mean that's not right but because it's got me down as 14 foot high it's saying that my BMI is too low and I can't seem to change it now what I don't want to do is uninstall everything and then reinstall it again and lose everything that I've done up to this point with regards to my goals, uh, the weight loss that I have achieved and all of those. And I have reached out to Huawei on social media and I have had no reply. And the only way to contact them on the app is to call them. I mean, this is 2021, call them. I mean, who calls anybody anymore? I mean, this is really annoying. And there's no way to email or just, you know, text chats, live chats. It's call and that's it. And I find that really frustrating. But to be honest, when I look at the histories, it does give me my weight and my BMI. And that's all I really need. So I can forgive the shortcomings of it making me a lot taller than I actually am. Because the information that I need is still there. And a lot of people have been saying that the scale, well, I say a lot of people, on some of the reviews that I've seen, especially on Amazon, some people saying the scales are inaccurate compared to other scales that they've used. Well, they will be. And those scales that they've used, the other scales, will be inaccurate to other scales that they've used. What you need to do is just make sure you use the same scales in the same spot each time. And that will give you an accurate result. They may not be terribly accurate to begin with, with regards to your weight, but they will give you an accurate record of your weight loss, as long as you use the same scales. So don't compare these to another set of scales because those set of scales may not be the same as a third set or a fourth set. They're all slightly different and they're all going to be. And for the price I paid 20 pounds, I'm not expecting the world out of them I'm just want them to be able to give me my weight my BMI and to register them on the app but they look tidy I mean they've got a nice glass finish it's really nice and the cool thing is is these are self leveling feet so you can put it on a slightly uneven surface 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 and it will level but again, try and put them on a flat surface, preferably when you weigh yourself the same area, the same surface each time. You're going to get the most accurate results if you are consistent when wearing yourself. So the clothes that you are wearing and, you know, if you wear jeans and a thick jumper and multi layers and whatever. And then the next time you wear yourself in boxer shorts or your underwear, you're going to get a slightly different result so please be consistent also you do need to take your socks off to get the BMI reading because it sends obviously an impulse to your body to read that your socks acts as an insulator it won't be able to go through so make sure you have bare feet so can I recommend these bad boys for the price I paid 20 pounds yeah I think I can for 30 pounds just about for 70 on the Huawei store no because the app is okay it's pretty good but those little issues that I'm having do spoil it slightly and the additional features I have no idea how to find out because I just don't I don't know if it's just that I've not weighed myself enough times it may need more data and it may pop up the more I use it but as it is at the moment it doesn't give me the option to find out so guys if you found this useful then hit that like button if you didn't find it useful then double tap that dislike button and if you really enjoyed my company today don't forget subscribe to my channel below and guys i shall see you next time